Managing the problem of aflatoxin is crucial to the future of food trading and developing economies. New policies are already in place, but there are no new technologies to support them. The Full Belly Project has developed aflascreen.org, a practical, integrated system to address emerging food safety priorities. Aflascreen.org allows you to test, seal, and tag food shipments. Data about food source and age can be uploaded to the cloud. Aflatoxin and moisture level data can be added. End users can then easily track the shipment using their smartphones. To verify that a harvest meets the food safety standards needed to cross borders, the first step is to test the product for aflatoxin and moisture content at its point of origin. In the past, a lab test for aflatoxin could take weeks for the results to arrive. We have developed a field kit using Mobile Assay's M-Reader that can give us aflatoxin reading in parts per billion within 20 minutes. Right now, the test works for maize and groundnuts. Rice, millet, and sorghum testing will be available soon. To ensure that the moisture levels are low enough to prevent future fungus growth, we use the dry card developed by UC Davis. The cards are reusable and simply need to be dried to be ready for the next test. But how do exporters and customers know what data relates to which product? That's where seals, tags, and the internet comes in. If it's for a container or closed truck, simply attach the QR barcode tag to a standard container seal. If it's a loose bag shipment and all the customer wants is proof that this is this year's crop from a known location, attach the tag with a yellow tamper-proof tag and upload the data to aflascreen.org. For lots that have to cross borders or meet higher customer standards, it's not practical to test every bag. So to identify a batch, test the first and last bag and tag them with a number series. Use green seals for the tested bags and blue seals for the numbers in between. So now we have to upload the data. If you are new to the AfliScreen program, you have to register with the Full Belly Project to get your own account. Then you order your testing and tagging supplies from the Full Belly Project. But how does the end user access the data that you've uploaded? Assuming his smartphone can read QR codes, he scans one side of the tag. This takes him to the aflascreen.org website. Then he scans the barcode on the other side of the tag, and the shipment data appears. Border agents may also demand tamper-proof adhesive barcode stickers. They will make sure that the documents relate to the tags on the cargo. Soon the aflascreen program will be the fast way to get through border crossings. Tests and tags will be a normal way to do business. So contact info at thefullbellyproject.org for more information about how to get into the future of premium price food trading.